What's cool about this reverb, and my dog agrees, is that, you know, I could sit there and in the track modify the sound of this snare and where it sticks out the best. And just with these preset early reflections, and it's, it's been a really, really interesting, cool thing that, it, that I'm not sure why nobody else has done, but this makes this reverb to me a game changer right here. Listen to how it changes the sound of the reverb as I go through these. And I'm always making these decisions, obviously, in a track. Right now, you're only hearing solo drums. Um, when the guitars and the bass are in, I'll play a little example, and I'll flip through these as well. So you can hear, by just tailoring the early reflections, I can change the sound of this reverb in my track instantly without ever changing anything else. Obviously number one is a super short, made it sound very gated. And as I got deeper into like number five and number six, it kind of stayed out of the way for the initial hit and then kind of rose up to be bold and exciting and then kind of ducked again. And here was a little more at the front end, made the snare a little bit fatter. And then as we got on, actually, this one was pretty interesting as well. I didn't change the reverb time at all. I think the reverb time actually works. This is one of those reverbs to me that it really is a game changer. Just the, the fact that somebody went through and tailored all the early reflections for you. A lot less tweaking on my part. And, and obviously, I changed the snare sound in this track instantly without having to dial in more. The fact that you have so many options with early reflections at your disposal makes this H reverb a super versatile reverb. Let's get the dumb ball through. Set you to touch. 